Hi guys, I'm Adil and this channel is called Was Adil. I've decided to make a, a playlist which is called Qualitative Analysis. In this playlist, I would like to dump all the videos which are concerned with Qualitative Analysis. Four of my previous videos are included in this playlist too. And hopefully this video too would get into that playlist. For my viewers, it would be an advantage because for those who want to get a glimpse of qualitative analysis of various chemical compounds, you just have to go to uh, click on to my playlist and you can get the videos which you want. So let's start with this video. I'll be detecting the presence of a uh, borate ion in this video of mine, which is BO3 3 minus, and the chemicals which are required for this demonstration are a borate in this case. It's the boric acid and some sulfuric acid and some surgical spirit or probably ethanol or methanol would do good. In this uh, surgical spirit is nothing but 95% of ethanol and some um, methanol is added to denaturate it. And so uh, in, you, instead of boric acid you can also use any borate for example sodium borate etc. And I will give you the chemical uh, reactions which would be occurring in, in this demonstration. If you take a borate, for example if you take sodium borate, sodium borate would react with sulfuric acid to give boric acid. Uh, for this demonstration of mine, this step does not hold its good because I am using boric acid directly. I uh, will be adding sulfuric acid because if at all is there is any uh, presence of so, uh, borate salt, a uh, borate in the form of salt that would uh, also get converted into uh, boric acid and one more plus point about uh, adding sulfuric acid is that when you add sulfuric acid uh, to an aqueous solution that generates a lot of heat and that uh, would increase the rate of reaction of the uh, this experiment so and you also get some sodium sulfate and in the second step which is the uh, which is the step which determines the presence of borate. Here we have boric acid which would react with the ethanol uh, which is the nothing but the surgical spirit to give ethyl borate or probably more precisely triethyl borate and some water. And this triethyl borate is the deciding factor for the presence of borate ion because when you uh, ignite this uh, ethyl borate, uh, triethyl borate you get a green flame, very characteristic green flame. So let's proceed with the reaction. So I'll be taking some boric acid into this test tube of mine. Boric acid as you can see has a very fluffy consistency kind of thing. It's very light. And this reaction is one of my favorites because uh, this produces a very beautiful green colored flame. Uh, this is the boric acid which we have taken. I will be adding some sulfuric acid to it so that the heat produced might increase the rate of reaction. That's it. Please be careful while handling concentrated sulfuric acid because that's very caustic and might cause skin burns. I am adding some surgical spirit or ethanol. reaction is proceeded.
the test tube has turned pretty hot and if we are fortunate when I put this burning splinter at the top mouth of the test tube you, you could probably see a green flame which would run all the way down through the test tube uh, so just I hope that you see that green flame did you see that beautiful green flame wasn't that amazing and that was only the trailer and the actual green flame I would show it to you right now I would, I would throw some of the solution onto my marble platform When you are performing this, keep sure that you keep the flammables away. Now the fun part. Sorry. There was a slight uh, green color out there, but Unfortunately, we could not get this thing precisely. I will try it again. Uh, no issues. I would make this boric acid solution again. Uh, the reason why uh, there is no green flame when you ignite this is probably because uh, there was sulfuric acid down there that according to me might have prevented uh, the flame this time I'm adding a whole lot of ethanol ethanol being volatile uh, gives out a really good flame I would wipe out this previous And I hope that this time you get a good reaction. Do you see the green flame? Isn't it amazing? It's an amazing green flame, right? If you hold this white platform behind it, I would like to do this once again, or else uh, this was good, right? So that was all from my side in this video. Uh, I'd already shown you the mechan reactions which were occurring. And uh, that's it from my side in this video. You could support my uh, page on this Patreon for which I would provide a link in the description down below. So please be f uh, feel free to donate and your donations would help me to get more chemicals so that uh, my quality of the videos which I make uh, gets better and that's it from my side in this video and please do like share comments and subscribe thank you